Hi students, I hope that you are all safe and healthy despite the growing number of positive cases of COVID-19. I also hope that this video and the next videos that I will be sharing will not stress you out, instead help you learn more and recall what you've learned from our previous discussions and activities before the pandemic. Oh, so you might be wondering why I had to include the topics that we've already discussed in class. This is to help you recall and connect to the succeeding topics, that is, the remaining topics for this course or subject. Okay, so before we begin, I'd like to emphasize that the faculty and staff of Wimsa Pagadian are trying their best to consider everyone especially those whose locations are far from the mainstream. No internet connection, no gadgets, etc. Thus, aside from video lectures, we will also be providing both soft and hard copies of the presentations. For soft copies, kindly comment below your email address so I could send the PDF copy of all my presentations directly to your email. Printed copies will be made available in Wimsuf Pagadian. Since we are already under GCQ, I hope it is okay for me to assume that you could already find means on getting those from the campus. So yes, we don't have any instruction for mass promotion. Yes, we are still to carry out our task as teachers despite the existence of SARS-CoV-2. No, we don't want to inflict any kind of stress to any of you. No, we don't ask you to climb trees and mountains for this. However, we ask for your initiative and cooperation so both of us could meet halfway and carry out our task successfully despite the pandemic. So I wish everyone well. Uh, let's start. Okay, so we've discussed in class that the guiding principle in forensic science is Locard's exchange principle. So it states that whenever a criminal comes in contact with a person or object, there is a cross transfer of evidence. So this means that the perpetrator of a crime will bring something into the crime scene and will leave with something from it. What the perpetrator brings or lives in and from the crime scene could be used as evidence. So these evidences are then analyzed by forensic chemist and or forensic scientist. No questions on that, I hope. Forensic chemistry, therefore, is the application of chemistry in its subfield in a legal setting. The main purpose is, of course, to analyze a wide type of evidences from drugs of abuse to firearms. In the succeeding lessons, we will be learning how each type of evidence is analyzed and used in legal settings. In the meantime, uh, you may be asking why you as a criminology student need to take this course. So from Shared Memorandum Order Number 5, Series of 2018, Policy Standards and Guidelines for the Bachelor of Science in Criminology, or BS Criminology Program, it was stipulated that a BS Criminology graduate is prepared for careers in the following fields, among others. Your knowledge in forensic chemistry and toxicology will find relevance in most of the professional fields displayed on screen. So if you wish to pursue BS Criminology, then there is a need for you to really work on understanding the topics included for this course. You see, it's going to be hard for someone to work in a criminological research, law enforcement, crime prevention, and others without a solid knowledge in forensic chemistry and toxicology. 
So I hope therefore that this will compel and propel you to pursue this. The next slide will show you photos of some important people in forensic science and forensic chemistry. We've already discussed the contributions of these people in class, but kindly go over them again and read a little more about them in preparation for your first activity in this lecture. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so this For your first activity, kindly choose one person in forensic science and outline his or her contribution. You may or may not choose one of the four people shown in the previous slide. So use the template posted in our Google Classroom. Printed copy of this template is also available in school. Okay, so if you have done that already, I'd like to show you some. So we have here forensics. This means the study of evidence discovered in a crime scene and used in legal setting. We also have forensic science, application of scientific knowledge and methodology to the legal problems and criminal investigations. So um, you will also be encountering the term criminalistics, autopsy, fingerprint, and a lot more words. So you will be seeing most of them, or you will be seeing them in our in our next sessions. Okay. So I think um, that would be all. Uh, so here's your activity two. I've also posted the template, or I've also posted this one in our Google Classroom. So, for your activity 2, uh, you'll be provided with a crossword puzzle and uh, it will help, it will assess how your, uh, your understanding of the concepts discussed here. Sorry for that, so it will assess your understanding, can be only the word help. This one very short so that uh, it would not be too boring for you. I will be uploading the next uh, video lectures in a while. So, thank you for your time.